Hey guys, this is Mistress Nightmare here, and today we'll be reading Pink Amina's chapter of Seven Minutes in Heaven. Before we get started, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepy positive fan fictions out there. Until then, let's get started. I felt around some, and I felt something almost like leather. I thought it felt strange. Same how none of the other stories involve leather. I pulled out the hide from the hat. It had blush tint to it. It was strange. It was the strangest thing. It had a cloud with a rainbow and lightning bolt. I paused for a moment. I had cho chosen Pink Amina. Oh, you picked a good one, my dear. Pinky, it's your turn. Splinter called out as I breathed in and out deeply. I can do this, I thought. She walked over to me. Her skin was a light pale pink, her straightened darkish pink hair covering her shoulders and back. This could be fun, Pinky commented as Splinter showed the both of us to the closet. I noticed her attire. She was wearing a sleeveless black shirt with a hot pink pants and it, it was complete since it was the first silent the complete first few minutes her tail swishing in annoyance are you going to say anything she sneered i felt slightly offended with her attitude i don't really i guess i paused trying to stop myself from stuttering she scared me more than jeff could do any day i'm not going to stand here for seven minutes doing nothing she grabbed the front of my shirt, smashing her lips to mine. I froze. It felt strange kissing another girl. She let me go by bringing out a knife and cutting down my shirt. I panicked and covered myself and pulled away. What are you? She slapped her hand over my mouth, giggling. You're cute. I'll give you that. I wonder what will you taste like as a cupcake, but you're too cute for that, aren't you? She giggled in a melodic fashion. A burning pain sensation across my shoulder bone. She cut my shoulder bone. Not deep enough, but enough to bleed. Let's have a taste, shall we? She licked the blood coming from the cut. My face turned red. She licked her lips approvingly. Just as I thought, sweet as sugar perfect for a cupcake. She kissed my neck, holding my arms at her side, the knife dropping to the floor. I tried in a way to rebel against her by pulling away, but that didn't stop her, but encouraged her instead. Quit it, Pinky. I tried to push her away just a little bit. Her hand squeezed the back of my neck. She bit the soft skin and licked it the small amount of blood like batter of her favorite cupcake her nails dug it into my hips bringing me closer to the psychotic cannibal killer i whimpered in her overpowering presence over me she let out another maniacal laugh before roughly kissing me again I gave up and let her do as she pleased. Her hands steadied on my side, her nails scratching me lightly. Let's make some cupcakes. She smiled at me. Someone opened the door and light was speeding. A bright light blinded the both of us. I hid my face in Pinky's bosom. Oh yeah, Lesbo, so hot. Ben held the camera in his hands. He seemed the only one that he took the picture where he could get blackmail on them. You motherfucking bastard! Pinky yelled in a blind rage as she rubbed my arms in a way of comforting me. She looked at me in my eyes and smiled widely on her face. If you excuse me, my dear, I have some cupcakes to make. She bent down and picking up the knife. 
Ben's eyes widened and he runs screaming behind a girl who was there with me. Pinky burst, busted his camera and letting him off with a warning. This one time, Splendor had stitched me up and my shirt and told me that Pinky was in the kitchen. I met up with her in the, in the kitchen. She wanted to ask me something. She had a number between her fingers. The number was nine, was 69. Hey, Alexis, would you like to make some cupcake, cupcakes with me? And have some fun afterwards? A smirk never leaving her face. I thought about it for a moment. Sure, Pinky. She wrapped her arms around me, shouldering and planting kisses on my cheek as we both went off in search of the main ingredients for our cupcakes.